watching these sets as well. These are also super sick. It's not just the finale. We've Dude, these guys are freaking here. ready right now, dog. They're going in. This is going to be a first to one uh, single limb tournament for all Texas players. Right now, up first, we have uh, looks like Marcus versus Face. Yeah, this is a Japanese Texas tournament. Yeah, yeah, Japanese style, <laughs> but in Texas. Very yeah. much so, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, again, thank you, Brian. Thank you, all you guys, for your donations. We were at uh, five thousand five hundred dollars. Never thought we would hit that for third insane, strike, twenty twenty one. So much love for this game, and I can't be surprised. It's an amazing game. I mean, what a what a. I mean, we saw tonight firsthand just how amazing third strike can be, and why this oh game has God, endured yeah. for more than two decades now. I mean, just fantastic. Just fantastic. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, again, just want to reiterate that. Uh, your, although these uh, contributions show that they're going to stretch goals, really they're going to the players. I mean, yes. that's really what this is all about. Um, it increases the prize pot for the tournament and uh, lets five-star Yi Wang uh, take home a little extra cheddar, so. Yeah, because we're going in finally, guys. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's clear we're still on. Uh, we haven't got both players ready up yet, but yeah. Now they're ready, but let's just take a quick look at that bracket. Okay, see, cool. Mark is in face, are going to be that first match. Okay. Then Lance and Dial Mighty. Oh, that's going to be sick. I really enjoyed watching Dial Mighty play so far. Uh, Luke versus Kev Kev. That's a uh, home, uh, hometown battle. Big Nasty and K Ray Jr. Jesus Christ. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Yeah, a lot of the homies in this bracket. Yeah, of course. Dude. Texas is the homies. If you play Third Strike, you've got to be friends with the Texan. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's something that's kind of like a requirement. Dude, you know what's funny, too, is everybody, the slogan is everything's b bigger in Texas, right? That's true. Ben and I just went to get food. Definitely true. Very, very true. <laughs> Definitely right. true. How about, nachos how about nuts? those Round Rock Donuts, dude? dude <laughs> yeah, those are pretty round big. Round Rock Donuts, though? But those nachos were 10 out of 10, dude. Easily, very close, the second best nacho they've ever had. Second best. Here we go, guys. We're in there. Face versus Marcus. Face from Houston, Texas. Marcus, of course, here from uh, Austin, Texas. Dude, watching Marcus play today has been nuts. He's, his movement is absolutely insane. Yeah, he's I've never like, seen the quite like it before. He's like dashing through unblockables, doing all the cool shit. Okay, Face has the corner now, though. Now, can Face keep it? Kicks the uh, the corner out of the air, cartoon music. Puts it right back in the corner, no escape for you. Man, Kicks the trying to teleport through. So solid, laying on the pressure. Oh, dash through, gross. Dude, the dash throughs are so sick. And Super Art 3 from Marcus. Yes. Pretty unorthodox pick, but he's really making it work. Yes, he's been making it work all night long. That really is his super. Okay, so there's one quick round there for Marcus. Yeah, and he's got to be careful because Face is right at one bar, and uh, this one hurts from uh, Makoto versus Abuki. Yeah, Abuki's tiny little health bar does not pick the Godanski well. Oh, it's a combo, wow. gross! Wow, laying on the pressure. Okay, well, gets over, doesn't get the cross up that she wants. Ooh, this could be it. Yeah, they're even on health right now. Small lefty from Makoto. Makoto has the corner. Trying to get the confirmer Godansky, but uh, Mark's not going to have it. Wonder if he's going to spend it. Probably not. No, no, no. Yeah. No reason to. Sick. Yeah, third round. This is uh, first to one, guys. Single a limb. So someone's dying right yeah. now. This is the last round of this someone's set. Someone's going home, taking that Uber five minutes to their house, because we are in Texas. A very small state. OK, that's pretty good damage there. Marcus at the corner, applying pressure. Gets the good it. That's so important in this game to open up the pressure. If you get those grabs, they stop blocking. Good Face just has to see through this. Get that Karaksa. All he needs, all he needs is one Godanski. Oh, here it is right there! Oh, okay! Oh, my oh, God. No. Big damage. What's the mix from Face? Oh, wow, doesn't dash in or anything. Yeah, nothing. Nothing is the mix. Oh, my God. Face just trying to stay solid. Got to stay solid. Oh, please block that. Oh, did you, oh, oh my yes. God. God. Get oh, out of here, Marcus. My. So Face takes the first game. Marcus is eliminated already. Wow. Get out of here, Marcus. That was a, a really fast-paced, super sick game. Thank you, gentlemen, for your contribution to tonight's stream. Let's go into the next match here. The next match, we got our players Let's readying up right uh, now. They're getting up on up. stage. Uh, what was the next match again? Uh, Rico, can you give me the bracket? I think it was the Lance yeah, match, right? Lance and Dial Mighty. Lance and Dial Mighty. Oh, my. Now, you were never going to say match legs. I want Dial Mighty to win so bad. Not because Lance is a, not a great guy, because he is. But because I cannot stand seeing Chun win, dude. Dude, it's honestly, for peak. me, I, I'm a big Lance fan, and I love seeing Chun win. But also, Oro is my favorite character in all of Street Fighter. Yes. And by almighty, the, number one is a Stones player, which I also play with Oro. But he's so hyped. He does crazy shit with Stones. Let's see some of that right now. So we'll actually, uh, we have Lance playing Yang here. I mean, I could cheer from if, if I truly wanted to. And also, I must point out that it's a really bad method for Alex. So I'm inclined to uh, root against Oro. Let's see how this turns out, though, in any case. So Lance at the corner now? I have seen the Lance Yang before. It is not a meme. He definitely does know how to play Yang. We've seen Dial Mighty get out of that uh, corner situation so many times with the, Ooh, with the chicken legs. Good reset from Dial Mighty. Going for the terrible grab. Got the combo. Big damage, big stun. 
Oh, a little bit too late there with the uh, low forward. Man, maybe the Eye Almighty can just hang on to this meter, have a really threatening next round. Oh, Ooh, decides to spend God. it. I don't hate that choice. I kind of hate that choice a little bit, but he knows way better than me, so <laughs> good game. He can get it back. He'll be all right. It's not that I think he shouldn't have spent the meter. I think that was kind of a risky way to do it. It is a risk, for sure. That's part of the uh, mid to low to your life, though. Sometimes you take those calculator Once risks. again, Thy Almighty escapes the corner Ooh, with the chicken Ooh, and this is going to be really big damage, guys. Here we go. Watch health just melt those away. Those EX deep. stones, man, they do a grip. And he gets another one off of that. Nicely oh, done from Thy Almighty. I like the escape from Lance, too. He found his window. I can't believe the way that, that Thy Almighty is hanging with Yang in the nooch. Of course, Oro, notoriously not a great neutral character. No, he's, he's got a hard time, but man. He's doing an amazing job with these buttons right now. I mean, like, Stan Roundhouse is fine. It's an okay button. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's all right. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, oh the chipped cheap, him out. The cheap. That was Dial May's game to lose, and he lost it. But we got, excuse me, that round. We have one more round left. Okay, let's see what Dial Mighty can do with this corner here. Whoa, okay, good patience. Lance, that parry Lance there. stays solid. Yeah, he wanted the uh, Lance to press a button there. No such luck. Stones are on deck. It's not oh, a combo. I didn't quite get it. He was trying to go for an air to ground there. Well, look at the movement here from Dial Mighty. That's so important against Yang because he's such a grounded neutral character outside of his dive kick. Like, oh, oh my man. god. I take back what I said. Fuck the nooch. <laughs> okay, Dude, the, the oral backdash is so godlike. Okay, let's see if we can chip him out here. Doing a great oh job so far. Doing a great god. job so far. Good stuff to Get out of here, Almighty. Lance. Lance is knocked out. You're out. Get out of here. It was nice to see, in my case, uh, Lance's uh, Yang for the first time. Something you've seen him in the past, but in my case, that's the first time seeing it. Yeah, it was nice to change the pace. You look at that TGL logo on the side of the cabs. That's so yeah, sick. Yeah, it is the, sick. It's sick. Projector. Up next, as we have Luke versus Kev Kev. This is going to be probably uh, Luke's uh, Akuma versus Kev Kev's Urian. I've been seeing them play casual uh, all weekend. And Luke's Akuma is, of course, legendarily strong. I've been uh, greatly impressed by having the chance to see it in person. Kev Kev's Urian is looking really clean this weekend, too. Let's see. This is kind of a tough one for Kev Kev, not just because of their uh, relative you know, difference in familiarity with the game, but also because uh, Akuma is notoriously a really hard matchup for uh, for uh, Yurian. For Yurian, yeah. yeah. It's kind of weird, though, because, like, if Yurian is able to open up Akuma, if he's able to, like, red parry a Tatsu or something, he just wins. So there is that. There like, is that, yeah. Because Akuma has no health. So if, you know, if Kev's got meter, if he opens Luke up, then he, he just, as long as he stays solid, he'll win. Uh, but, but Luke definitely going to make that hard. He's going to lay on the pressure pretty hard. Um, he definitely knows the matchup. So, and I'm sure Kev does too. I mean, Kev's been playing for a super long time. Yeah, these guys grind together all the time. Here we go. All right, so uh, uh, we see Towards Kev, Kev draw first blood. Started. That's like a, a you have the read on the person kind of thing. Yes. That's how you know he's going to jump in the beginning of the round. I see you, Kev. Nice. Crouching jab into the headbutt. As so yeah, basically this is this is all uh, Doki dictates the patch, the piece, pace of this match. Yeah, like tackle? Yeah. Regular tackle. I don't know. I get punished with that. Okay, throw attack. So Kev really has to be, he's the um, reactive player in this matchup, for sure. It seems like Kev is doing everything right, but still had a health deficit. Finally evens it up. Now he actually has a life lead. Yeah, he does have meter, though, too. So it's possible if he's able to win this without spending all of it, that would be a huge win for him. Oh, no. Oh, that's, oh, that's a punish! That's oh, big. it's going to be gonna death. Kill him. Oh, oh, no, he, the drop. He doesn't get to do the unblockable there. Okay. He misjudged the space in the stage. Now he's got no, uh, he doesn't have a full bar going into the second round. Also, what? guys, if you don't think Yurian's a hard character, you no. need to know every stage with, and that's fucking crazy. Okay. To Cribs. Okay, Luke's laying it on now. Oh, oh okay, big, punish big punish here. Right, Nicely done. Headbutt. Doesn't even spend any bar. Gets the corner rage set up. Luke oh, knows what's good, though. Oh, time. I'm really surprised by that, because Yurian's dash is so, so fast. Yeah, it's tough. You can't really sweet spot Goki like that if they know to dash or teleport out. Some two-dimensional neutral happening here. I love it. Oh, wow. Dash him a block. The sixth thing in third strike. Kev is big chilling right now. Just blocking, trying to find a way in. Oh, there oh, it is. Good parry. Good parry. Okay. Let's see if we get a teleport. It's very hard to teleport out when the mirror is wow. dropped right on you like that. Really smart by Kev. Yeah, I would call that a bit of an upset. But I'm not a regular here, so I couldn't tell you if this is how this oftentimes goes. But to see Kev take it over uh, Luke is pretty impressive. At least Luke is way taller. 
Get out of here, Luke. That's true. You're out. You're out of the tournament. Get out of here. All right, guys. Uh, we're moving on here to uh, the first nasty. match in uh, winner's round one. I guess I call it it's round one. This is Big Nasty versus K. Wright Jr., both uh, personal friends of mine. Big Nasty has been looking really strong tonight. Pleasure to watch him fight. I wish he could have gotten farther, to be honest, in the tournament. But uh, that's a really, really stacked bracket tonight. I guess you can't be too surprised that uh, some really heavy hitters are getting knocked out. Uh, K. Wright Jr., of course, the guy that got me into third strike and uh, uh, a player that I'm going to always look up to no matter what. He's been playing really great this weekend. I think that if he plays at the top of his game, he can definitely tangle a big nasty. But he's going to have to really, you know, grit his teeth and, uh, and duke it out here. Yeah, I imagine we're going to see uh, Hugo Ken. Be yes, my guess. it's going to be Hugo Ken, yeah. Unless Caesar plays like Alex or something. Yeah, and I know Kenny's got some other characters too, but generally he's a Ken player. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Guys, again, thank you so much for helping us reach $5,500 for the match. You know, guys, we're paying out uh, the players tonight. We're uh, just having an amazing time here in Austin, Texas. And you guys have really made this possible for uh, for all these guys to come out here and, and have a really hype event. And I appreciate that. Here we go. Start of the round, we see Caesar uh, goes for the clap and the dash up uh, sort of a pressure uh, scenario. Yeah, and uh, Caesar is so good at uh, finding his ways to always get SPDs, even when you know that's all he wants. Yeah, that's such a Hugo thing, right? He has to do what it takes to get that grip. Yeah, and I, what I like about Big Nasty's play is he, he often knows that it's like obvious that you know that's what he's going to go for, so he, he kind of chooses the threat of that yeah. to make people afraid. doesn't always go for it. There it is again. Very into SPD. Kenny's going to have to change oh, up his approach. combinations. Oh, no, Kenny, here we go. So it manages to get paid off anyway. Let's see if he can get him with this mix up here. We got a bar. Any hit from Kenny could do this. Just needs one touch. Oh, oh no, that was finish. it. Oh, oh man. Dude, one time Orna guy told me that the reason Hugo spammed that Lariat out of the corner like that is because it always works. <laughs> that's it's a, that simple. That's a good answer. Yeah, it's yeah. that simple. It They're always going to jump or do something weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a risky maneuver. All right, so we got another period of SPD. Yeah, it looks like uh, Kenny spent some bar yeah, there on something. Yeah, he spent some bar, some EX fireballs, something like that. Or touch okay, now Kenny's got to really be afraid because he is near death. With one gigas. Oh, that was it. Yeah, one gigas will kill him. I saw Nasty coming in. He was uh, He's very well uh, versed in hiding that gigas inside of his dashes. So when you see him dash towards you, it's uh, not a good sign. Kenny's staying solid, though, staying far away, trying not oh to... Oh, my God. Caesar's so patient there. Oh! He wanted it right there. Oh, I thought that was it, yeah. Here we go. Nicely done from Kenny. Let's see if Kenny can keep this going. He doesn't have a bar yet, but he's close. Oh, that's good really read. good. It's good so good. Read. Really shot smart here. read from Kenny. Don't get parried in SPD. Yeah, now he's got to watch out for backbreaker if he's going to keep jumping. I'm I sure that's on Caesar's mind. Yeah, and definitely on Kenny's now, clearly, as well. Oh, my. Oh, Ooh. my. Out of the corner, at least. We got no bar now. Wow. Nice throw. Ballsy, but I like it. Unbelievable. Wow, jump back roundhouse so strong. He forced him into the freaking uh, proximity guard and then jumped yeah, back roundhouse. Yeah, kind of a checkmate situation. With yeah, Kenny. well, it was really kind of like smart. a mind game. That was Mr. Super there. Very unfortunate. Oh, Mr. Super there as well. Okay, out of the air at EX Lariat. How the hell does he block that? That was sick. Caesar can th see through the Matrix, man. He yeah, might be. He's the chosen one, dude. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's the chosen one. He's Neo. Okay. Like the way Ken is playing this ground game right now. Catch them walking in there. That's very sneaky. All right, let's see if Morpheus is able to uh, convert this uh, bar into some damage here. Oh, wow. He whisked one grab and gets another one. So Caesar crouches there to be hit by the jump back round. That's so strong as you go. Ooh. Oh, Ken dash up twice. M one more than he needed to do. Yeah, at least he's not facing a, a super yet. There we go. Nice confirm from Kenny. Okay, let's see if Caesar can stay solid here. He's one mix up of getting the win here. Yeah, avoid this uh, Avoid this super. Too far. Well spaced by Caesar there. That's totally intentional on Caesar's part. And if Caesar can whiff a little bit of meter, he might be able to threaten a kill here oh, too. Oh, for sure. For sure. That's what he's looking for right now. It's tough to whiff meter safely in this spot though. Oh, he's oh, got there it! There is! Okay. Oh, he spent, he spent it. it. It's going to be death. Really Good gambled game. it on there. K. Wright Jr. Nicely advances. Nicely done, Kenny. Good stuff to Caesar. That's All right, get out of here, Caesar. Caesar You're done. Get out of here. If you guys want to wear that sweet, sweet Jazzy Circuit t-shirt that Caesar's wearing, check out our Matt Reno guys. It's not too late to pick one up, guys. Exclamation mark Matt Reno in the chat. Follow the URL. You can actually buy a Jazzy t-shirt and support tonight's uh, event uh, through Matt Reno that way. I think Kevin so. knows what's up. He's shaking his head in the back there. We have Face versus Die Almighty up next, uh, followed Ooh. by Kev Kev and K. Reich Jr. Those two are very close friends. That's going to be uh, definitely a, uh, a uh, battle of brothers, civil war. 
Battle of the K's. Yo, Austin Civil War? <laughs> so Face is back up here versus Die Almighty. We're gonna have Makoto versus uh, Oro here. I'm not sure I've ever seen this matchup. Makoto versus Oro. I was gonna play out, do you think, match legs? Well, I mean, it's, it's one of those... Again, I'm not super familiar with this myself, but it's kind of one of those matchups I imagine where someone just kind of gets deleted. I mean, if if anybody's got obviously SA2, Makoto's a little different, right? But like, both characters are capable of doing like crazy high damage things. It looks like Die Almighty's going Super R2 for this matchup. Um, it is a little bit easier to do the uh, the unblockable juggles against a wider character like Makoto. You can kind of just do like the double dash dash back thing. I saw him doing that earlier against Makoto. Wow. Nile Mike's looking very dominant here in the new... Man, he's used that reset quite a few times. Oh, that's so sick. Nice little instant overhead action. Okay, we've... Uh, Makoto has her SA1 Whoa. on deck. Just need to put her fist on him. And that's it. Yeah, and, and you'll see FaZe is playing really patient, really trying to find his opening, and trying to not get uh, opened up by Nile Mighty. Excellent spacing here from FaZe. Yeah, and those EX fireballs, if they're followed in, can be really tough to defend uh, from getting launched. Oh, man, those were Torrid Dice. They're hoping that Dial Mighty will stop his button for one second. Man, Dial Mighty's got so much meter to work with, he can really be dangerous here. And it looks like FaZe just spent his, so he's going to have a little bit of a harder time. That could have been going right there if he hadn't spent it. Double parry, okay, gets a hit in the air. It's basically crouching fierce. The parry stuff against Oro, too, because it resets juggle count. Oh, my God. Let's oh! see what FaZe can do. That's it. No, we're oh, not Not quite. Not quite. Oh, got a parry. Oh, got a parry. Oh, my God. That was, kind oh of a, my that was God. actually sort of a checkmate situation, though, because he could always just throw, you know, anything at him while he's parrying. I mean, he's stuck in there parrying forever with that super. So. Well, we saw the jump, so we don't have to parry the whole, whole thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The jump was smart. That was tough. But an uh, excellent game there. I love the way that FaZe was moving with these buttons to try to uh, keep Dial Mighty from just running away with it, but it was so hard, man. Dial Mighty's such a strong oral player. Up next, guys, is the Austin Civil War. Kev Kev versus K Ray Jr., both very close friends. This weekend has been my first weekend actually having a chance to hang out with Kev Kev, and it's been uh, really nice getting to know him a little bit. Yeah, Kev's a good dude. Yeah, for sure. Got to give it up to Kev, uh, fellow Urian brother. Um, this is also uh, Urian's worst matchup in the game, so let's see if uh, Kenny can uh, kind of convert some of that privilege uh, and, you know, kind of push forward here. Oh, the, the other thing is that uh, Kev is definitely experienced in this matchup, though. I mean, that's part of playing uh, playing Urian is you play a lot of Kens. Thank for the follow, Tiger Uppercut uh, Ty. Look on board. Man, Kenny, look at these, the space on these buttons. Yeah, Kenny's been looking great all weekend, man. I can't believe you, uh, Kev had to block that back beam from so far away. It's wild. Kev's got to find a way to get some meter here. He's not very threatening, and uh, Ken's about to be very threatening, so... If Kev can get some meter. Can he hit the corner now? Really deep in the roundhouse. Good block. This from is a Kev tough Kev. spot. It's very hard to get out of here, especially with the spacing that Kenny used. Really smart to not be right on top of him. Oh, man. I grabbed with his right Oh, wow. What the hell happened right there? Yeah, that was crazy. Dashed in and then stepped Kevin's back. Kevin's really trying to throw his way out of the corner. He's able to get out now. Oh, Kenny tried okay. to jump out. Hard knockdown. Okay, I got the reset, so this is hard still. Wow, very patient. I'm going to get DP'd or something. Yeah, Kevin definitely knows what's up. Okay, so now Kenny's got to oh. press this advantage here. Oh, no, it's a confirm. Nicely done from Kenny. Not going to kill. Let's Kev's wake up after your headbutt. Goes to the pair. He got the corner now. Does he want to spend it? That's yes, the question. Yes, of course. You have oh, to. Oh, he gambled it all on a sour spot. Ugh. Oh, it's not. Oh, no, no combo. Oh, oh I cannot wow. believe he had meter for that. I can't believe he had meter for that. Man, sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta do the EX tackle. We all know it's coming, but sometimes you gotta do it. Dude, I respect that. Oh, that's a two hitter. I okay. went around with that today. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you gotta throw him out there. Good stuff. Kev, Kev uh, gets put into the corner. He had the corner for a minute. Oh, he's in the Kenny mix. Oh, crutching a jab into headbutt. Jump back around, how so strong against tall characters. Oh, man, Kenny is keeping him in the corner. Kev just needs to find a way out. Oh, Ooh, no. it's going to be tough. I don't know if I'd want to spend the meter at this point. I just try to get to that second bar. Yeah, definitely don't that's, spend that's meter. That's like what Kevin's doing. I like that that decision a lot, honestly. Look at that. So Kev has, uh, you know. Oh. Look, Kenny blowing off his bar. That's great. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I would do it. I don't think God. I'd spend. I don't think I'm spending. 
He's got another one. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Wow. Whoa, Kevin. Nicely He's, done. Good conversion. That's one of the guys would say, never save your meter. Never Ooh, save your meter. When you're up around, I don't know, man. I'm saving it. Dude, good shit to Kev. Kev will pop off Good on there. you, Kevin. <laughs> Almost pulls off the stage. Yeah. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Kevin actually, his his bone is coming out of his leg right now. we got to get him to the hospital. Yeah, it's quite gruesome. I can't believe I'm, what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Who's this guy? Hey, what's up, Kenny? Good games. All right, guys, so now we're going to have the uh, winners. Good shit, dude. Oh, this is the grand finals now. Grand, grand finals already. Die Almighty versus Kev Kev here. The Texas battle, this is, again, first to ones all the way through, right? This is going to be first to ones like Kevin's getting carried up onto first the stage one. with his broken ass leg. Yeah, uh, putting, he looks like he's going to play. I'm surprised, but. This is a true Japanese style. All the way through, first to ones. You only get one chance. You only get one shot. One shot. Wow, I cannot believe he's playing right now. He's finishing off that beer. You guys can't see because the camera's only above waist, but yeah. he is really in pain right now. Yeah, he's bleeding all over the stage. All right, here we go, guys. Kev Kev, uh, Yurian, Thy Almighty, Rocking Oro. I have loved watching Thy Almighty play all weekend. This Oro is so sick. Let's see if Kev Kev can, uh, can slow down his uh, momentum here. Yeah, and this is uh, a pretty uncommon matchup, but it's a really sick one. Uh, both players can threaten doing absolutely asinine things to the other. Um, the only thing that's kind of tricky is you, a lot of uh, Yurian's stuff doesn't really work very well on Oro. He doesn't have a good unblockable. He uh, can't do as much off launcher as he can. Oh, either. wow! That was really nice what for a Kevin. Catch. Good conversion. Kevin goes to that air fireball. Doesn't work out well. Stuck in the mix. Oh, no. This is a tough spot to be in. He's trying to parry out, which is really, really hard to do. Lots of crud in oh, your face. Oh, he hit the fucking debris with the knees, Don. He hit the debris with the knee. It's a tough spot to be in, man. Wouldn't wish it on my yeah. worst enemy. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Hot JR. Man, I wonder where Cold JR is. Hot. Jumping the delay oh, jab. Okay. He's got that reset Same again. side, gross. Yeah, Shot he did the other side face. the other two times, so. Oh, was trying to go for it again. Dropped it. The Almighty is uh, working on that bar, though, so pretty soon any parry is going to result in pretty close to death. Oh, no. oh here we go. Interesting how he didn't go anywhere after that bounce. It's a tough spot for Kev because he's uh, not got a lot of meter to work with. You know, standing foul. Oh. That button. Oh, why beat the tackle with the crushing short? Going for EX? Yeah. Didn't go for EX. Oh, no. That's it. Good games. Thy Almighty won the entire state of Texas. He owns Texas now? Yeah, Thy Almighty. That's fucking sick. Thy Almighty, owner of Texas. That's fucking sick. Congrats to Thy Almighty. Good games to Kev, Kevin, everybody that played tonight. Another fun little exhibition for you guys. Again, being from Michigan and coming down to uh, Austin for this event, meeting the Texas players and seeing them play at the level they play at here has been uh, really eye-opening. Oh, absolutely. To really, you know, what these characters are capable of. So seeing them all in one spot at a time was uh, pretty dope. You gotta love it. Yeah, again, here's another look at the bracket, guys. Uh, it wasn't a very long one, but it was a very sick event. And again, congratulations to Thy Almighty uh, for taking that down. Good stuff. So Rico, what do we have coming up next year? All right, I think the next thing up, uh, we have, well, we hit that stretch goal for the generals, so we got to do that. But uh, we also, before we got to do that, we have the Issei Kumite. The oh, Issei Kumite. Oh, Kumite. Oh, my. Issei Kumite. Guys, I don't know if you've heard of Issei, but uh, he's pretty good at playing Yun, and he uh, is going to really put that to the test against uh, pretty much everyone.